What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Marcellus Miller, the fish killer, coming at you real quick. I just wanted to show y'all the new rig. Well, it ain't that new no more. I done had it for a few months now, but just wanted to give y'all an update on what your boy is fishing in. So when you see the next videos to come, uh, you'll know what uh, we're fishing in, and you won't be like, dang, that look different than the last one. It is very different. Hold tight. First off, I want y'all to excuse the wind if it blows, but there it is. This is it. This is Black Panther, y'all. Black Panther. So as you can see, it's a ZV21 Nitro uh, 2017. So let's take a closer look and see what we got going on. Uh, so as you can imagine, the 21 means it's 21 feet. As long as you see the dual axle, uh, custom painted trailer. The baby motor, we got the Mercury Pro Kicker 9.9 .9, uh, and the big dog, we got the Mercury Verado 350 horsepower that'll get you up and down the lake, the river, the sea as quick as you want to be. Let's see what we got going inside. Excuse the mess, it was just used this morning to catch some walleye. Uh, this right here, we got storage back here. As you can see, got anchors back there. You know what? Let me go ahead and climb inside so I can show you all the rest. All right, there we go. So, showed y'all the one storage uh, compartment. As you can see, we got another one here. Big. Look how many boxes can go in. Tackle boxes, boxes, buoy markers. Anything you want to go in there. Other side. Same thing, got twin compartments, more walleye stuff in there, pretty much uh, crappie stuff on the other side, so dual purpose boat up here in the north, fish a lot of walleye up here, a lot of big water. Over here we got one more storage unit in the back, as you can see, slip barber collection, more jigs, uh, calling system. Line, whatever you want, you can put a ton of boxes in there too. Uh, and then here's the coup de gras, if you will. Got the big live well. You're going to see on the video, that's going to be full of crappie in a minute. Uh, got one seat back here. There's room for another seat there. It's just not in the boat. Uh, but as you can see, I've adjusted the... Uh, captain chair and the, and the passenger chair with smooth move seats make the ride a little more smooth my people in the south y'all might not know about that because you don't get real rough but when you ride on Lake Erie Saginaw Bay sometimes even Detroit River it get ugly up here uh, more tackle net keeper right there to hold your net um, a lot of boats don't have that they really created this boat uh, with fishermen in mind and you see a cup holder down there. Um, and what you don't see behind this bag, let me move this bag for y'all. See them holes right there? That's for extra rods. So you can put a rod over there and lay it down here and strap it in right there. Uh, so you can hold more rods that way. So you can do that to get more in the boat. But let's look at the main rod holder. So the main rod locker is right there. As you can see, it's, uh, it's actually triple stack. You got the open space there at the bottom. Hope y'all can see that, that you can stick rods in. And then you got the, the holes there, 10 of them. You can have multiple rods in each one. I've seen this, you can get up to 20 some odd rods in there if you so desire. I think right now we got about 10 or so. So uh, that's how we do it. So that's that, that's the rod holder lock that back in come around here to the main console as you can see two uh, Lowrance HDS 12s Let's see if I can pop that off for me. HDS 12 so we got both of them so one of them you use for your sonar and stuff and your charting the other one we use mostly for side imaging and down imaging uh, we got the smart gauges and everything just a look at the seat I didn't show you all the seats Nitro got a real nice 
seat already so no need that you replace that uh got the smart gauges uh, in here so it really gives you all the information that you need also controls for the Linko trim tabs i should have showed y'all that in the back but those trim tabs listen ladies and gentlemen if you own big water with big waves those trim tabs right there are a life saver trust me on that that's real talk here's the control panel as you can see the power all the control for the uh pumping out the uh and filling and recirculating the live well and also the bait well that i'll show you here shortly uh let's see if the horn works power's not on of course the horn doesn't work it works sorry about that y'all i couldn't help myself but anyway uh <laughs> As you can see, we got cup holders. We got holders for your tools there as well. So there's a lot of neat features. I, I know y'all saw the rail, one inch rail going down. Uh, by the way, this is kind of a big step up. So if you ain't used to this, the first time my dad got a fish in the front of the boat and I ran up there with the net, y'all know your boy came up a little short right here and he, he about went down. Uh, actually, I did go down, but forgot to show y'all this right here that right there is another holder for you can put two boxes in there uh, so again more storage and more storage and more storage uh, coming up there's the, the butt chair that goes up here for the control of the trolling motor got the motor guy XI5 uh, with the wireless pedal and also wireless remote in the front more controls up there also you can control the bilge pump and things like that from right up here up front uh, nine inch HDS uh, right here as well so we can all integrated system so who's ever in the front running the trolling motor can see what's going on if you put a waypoint in the back and vice versa so all integrated all talking to each other very important uh, let's see what we have here you guessed it more storage life jackets i'm telling you a small kid can uh climb in there and get lost so be careful with your kids this right here let me bend down a little bit for y'all it's a bait well i right, can see the minnow bucket in there i ain't gonna take that out but if i took that out you'll see it's got an oxygenator system in there so you can pump oxygen to your bait just like uh your live well Got a couple more compartments over here, so let's see. More storage. Those is raincoats, y'all. Rain suits. I'm talking about big, huge rain suits. There's four of them in there and, and other stuff. These compartments are huge. They hold a lot. They really, Nitro really did it good when they when they made these boats. This right here is, a, is actually a cooler, right? So you can uh, plug your cooler up right there put ice in it have your beverages um, the the bowl right there uh, as far like if you want to keep sandwiches or something like that uh, in the bowl so got a cooler and I guess if all else fails you could put fish in there I mean why not but as you can see it's the dual console uh, and that's pretty much uh, pretty much the boat oh I guess I should say something about those who are serious fishermen don't know about the, the Atlas uh, jack right here. It's going to move the motor up six inches. Uh, actually, move it up and down six inches. Really comes in handy in, in shallow water. Instead of just tilting it up, you can move the motor up and still have some of the more control over your boat, even in shallow water, because that motor's down more vertical, and therefore you have a little bit more control. Two bank charging system. Got both of them plugged in right now. Uh, so it's five total batteries in the series. All those batteries are down there. I'm not going to open that up for you. But uh, two banks, one three bank, one two bank uh, battery system. I will say this. Yeah, another great thing about the banking system is if, if, if one is low, say you forget to charge, you leave the power on, you can use the other bank to, to charge the other one or to get an emergency starting the motor. And obviously your motor will 
eventually charge those batteries as you run it throughout the day. So that actually came in handy for your boy when I was in Canada. So uh, that definitely great nitro. Whoever thought of that, thank you very much because your boy thought he was going to be running uh, down the lake with the kicker motor and that wasn't going to get good for him. So there it is, y'all. There's Black Panther in a nutshell. Let me turn around. Give y'all one last look. Oh, wait, that's me. Give y'all one last look. Well, I ain't gonna say last look. One last first look at the Panther. Yo, until next time, keep them lines wet. Get out there and fish. Take a child with you. And most importantly, keep God number one.